Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Shadows of Forbidden Gods. And yes, we're going to be continuing this game, although not, as I said last episode, from where we left off. Okay, a couple of you wrote in the comments that yes, I did miss the fact that there was an alert that someone was trying to seal me away. In my defense, by the way, that is a relatively new phenomenon. It wasn't in the version 1.10 that I did previously. And while a later adaptation added the chosen one capable of sealing me by completing the prophecy, whatever that is, the real issue here was the fact that now mages can seal me away at any time, which means that I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that happening and move a little bit slower through the game. In fact, it's probably what we'll be doing from now on. Now, what I did before over the last episodes was attempt to find new strategies to work the game. Now, I think we found a couple of winners, such as using Yaster's abilities to drive leaders insane or heroes insane rather than trying to make the entire board crazy because as we noticed the first time we did that since insane people tend to die they also tend to reduce my score as a result so we're going to keep going with the traditional shadowing and using the crazy as i like to call it to keep people distracted because there was that was working so what we're going to do is we're going to roll back and we're going to go over a couple of other strategies that we're going to be trying to apply in a more focused state here so Quick thing, new game, we'll back over to Yaster. I think all the settings are the same. Let's see, right, random world, because I didn't save the seed from last time. Back to what, oh, used to be able to do that. Okay, let's just see if I remember. I'm gonna put this quickly over onto a save file, and yeah, so we can actually, if we fail this time, we can come back and start over again. Which is going to be end of interesting, because if you save this number, it will produce the same world. Okay, we're going to be going difficulty standard, uh, advanced options, make sure no term limit, which is, again, something I don't like. Humanity is vulnerable. I don't like the uh, I don't like them being immune to shadow because it really makes no sense. Mid-challenge events, move events, black strike out if you prefer a more traditional way of finding out if they've been shadowed. And holy orders plus two levels of witches, my usual ones. Up ah, and divine beings. We're going to go into that, because it was pointed out last time, the... Choosing a religion that we more compatible with our goals is going to do so. Now, one of the reasons we had trouble with trying to corrupt the religion or to make some serious progress toward it was that we hit it later on when it was bigger. It had a bunch of temples and harder to corrupt. We also choose a god who's... Now, the thing is, he wasn't incompatible to our uses because he liked deep ones and orcs and such, and we were reading them because he was a, they were a life god. The problem was that some other people, the orcs were killing humans, and the humans were killing each other, and that was what made him displeased. And we didn't actually take any actions to make him displeased because we don't want to corrupt people. We don't want to kill them. So what we're going to do is we're going to review religions when we get next part. Okay, so let's start. Okay, it's uh, I'm not turning off the hints. I didn't feel as cure. Okay, so here we are. First thing we do is we look around. We seem to have a few island. Basically, we've got a large island chain. Biggest island's down here at the bottom, so we should probably consider that making us target. And before we do anything at all, what we're going to do, well, first of all, with him. Now, one of the problems we had is we destroyed our own religious base, which was a little not what I wanted to do, because the problem was his ability of maddening tongues kept increasing the insanity there, which increased the unrest, which eventually destroyed the entire town. So we're actually going to pick favorite Tory this time around. This will resurrect him back to level one if he's killed. Since I won't be howling the tone around that long with him, uh, probably not the protector of the tone, which increases his stats, isn't going to help. So now, even at level one, he starts off as a pretty good agent. So we'll keep him around, and we'll use that. Now, what we want to do, let's take a quick look around. Is we are going to start talking about the religions. In order to do that, let's talk about the holy orders. All right. So. The larger the Holy Order, the longer it's going to take to corrupt, but the more space that we're going to corrupt. Now, you notice there seems to be two major religions. And a really small one over here. Now, I'm also looking for the co the covens. They usually tend to be around the edges. There's a obviously a holy seat there. Excuse me. Yep. So you can just tell by the... If you start in the beginning, all of the acolytes, all four of them, are on their holy seat here so if we go over to the right here is this it They're calling us no that's not it apparently no i am wrong like this one i'm correct because they have they have which one ever has the most i guess interesting 
Well, I guess that's not correct. I guess we still can find it by looking around. But yeah, this is a holy site here. Um, then obviously it's huge. So what we want to do is we want to check calling this. Um, just I got to change that. Oops. Good. I know it doesn't really matter because it's... There we go. Sapphire. It just sounds cooler. All right. So, yeah, we're going to look at this. Now, we need to pick a religion that we're going to target. So the easiest way to do that is hit the moral tenets. Uh, not to... Divinity. There we go. This one likes magical nodules and dislikes madness. So this one is completely out. Oh, my God. Did I do that? Seriously. Calling. All right. So... This one we're doomed because the man we're going to be doing madness constantly with the Aster's abilities. So yeah, we're just going to target this one. The calling of Sapphire has to be destroyed. Run that. In fact, what we want to do is we go under Opposed Divinity. We there's four presences. Yeah, we have to correct four, corrupt four places and hit him with ten power points to get rid of him. So he's just going to be a serious issue. Now this one, the Red Child. Let's take a look at it. Like Soup One's Deep One Song and Music of the Spheres. Now Music of the Spheres is a major component of the um is a, it's a major component of increasing madness and power for yaster so the variat circle kind of looks cool for us now we got to check they start with neutral like all covens do directly balanced between the light and the dark build temples dog modes, go under moral tenants okay abyssal faith which will increase deep ones it's always good dark worships already in place if we create temples we can spread shadow from the temples always good prophets of doom will increase madness goods works for us charitable works this is actually one we want to consider because the charitable works will allow us to keep the fucked up places that we are doing um we're going to be messing with they're going to start having civil dis civil disorder so basically we need somebody to heal them so the verat circle that's a good uh, choice for a target and it easy to corrupt because they start off with a single let's see this hang on let's start off with a single place to go now there it is that should be one of our targets now one of the ways we can target is we can actually hit it with a uh, we can actually summon one of our minions to be there or very close to there now of course we're starting off over here next to the elves and such so spreading in this direction will become problematic but we really we want them to get to fully corrupted first and then have them spread out as because remember the witches will assist us in this in fact we double check how we're only going to start with one worshiper yeah one person out there who is going to be useful to us eventually we will create we will uh, speed them up the process but like i said notice the elder influence is a lot easier to stack for the witches so the verat circle stands one of our primary uh primary uh, targets let's move to maya circle now this one dark worship again funerary rites reduces death doesn't really affect us prophets of doom is good is it a condemnation under elder influence of an agent here a challenge which gains menace in a location with a ruler of this faith of a different species a ruler just like the agent species all right that's interesting now one of the things we did before is we sparked hatred between um the elves and the and the humans which prevent you notice the alliance did not spread it was literally just one elven kingdom that we kept using elven indifference and um their racism from connecting to others so right, we have to identify of course which uh, country is going to be our primary enemy now sacrifice and i like the fact they have both funerary rites which decreases death magic and human sacrifice which increases it so in one end out the other apparently uh but arbormancy mattering insight this one is nowhere near as good so the mind circle let's see was a, not our primary target we're so if we have to choose between the two uh, cubbins and i think we'll start with the cubbins first because they're going to be quicker to, to get corrupt then what's going to happen is we will have um uh we might target these later but right now we also want to see order of tons really now this one's interesting starts with start with divinity yeah this um hmm. the pure mother might be usable so one of the things we can do is we can start targeting our enemies a targeting of that let's see um put this under useful idiots because at least we can you know keep track of them as, as we're going to do so and this one right here this one's going to be tough because it looks like they got a high preacher high all right moral tenants yeah, they got three points. Okay, where is it? Structural. There we go. They're not temple builders, though. 
Which might mean, if we take a look at the order of the useful idiots, as it were. Come on, I said useful idiots. Anyways, let's see. Calling a sapphire, the order of... Which one was it again? The useful idiots. No, wait, that's that's not what we want. We want order of tons. Um, order of fries. Because we can. Fires, that's another, that's another entire religion. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, alignment must have prevented me from doing that sort of thing. It starts with alignment status of plus three, which means it would take a heck of a lot of time to do so. So, but, we're also starting at the maximum, which means we can wait until one of our peeps is really set up to do rapidly um, create uh, the influence and more, more order. Have them have a high command and lore ability. So they're able to corrupt this rapidly at their seat. Now, the biggest thing, thing as long as they just remain as temp low-level temple builders, the Order of Fries, we can... Let's see, where is it? Queendom of Crass. Alright, where is the Temple of Fries? The Order of Fries, I mean. Kingdom, Kingdom. Come on. What's this one? Okay, that's... Yeah, well... Ah, good lord. Hit me with the um, prophecy. Yeah, we gotta touch the prophecies as well. Okay, the cub the secondary coven is located here, which is good to know. The order of fries is hmm. No, not that. This. It's calling a sapphire. Order of fries. Okay, show me where the order of fries is. Oops. Okay, so it's the green, which means the holy seat's over here of the order of fries. This is one, of, and it's also going to be easy to corrupt because it only has farming community plus the seat instead of doing a large city, and its security is three. Secondary target, huh? We get this place corrupted, we'll be good. But the problem is it's going to take a long time to do so, and the fastest way to corrupt it at this point is to simply take our dude up here. Where is he? We move him over here and we start infiltrating these points here. What we want is we want him to start creating the whole darkness spread. Now, the biggest problem we have with the darkness spread, yeah, it's going to be great for the elves here, but of course, remember, it doesn't water. And the fact that we've got all of this to deal with, which means we're not going to corrupt the vast majority of, stop that, vast majority of that material. Like calling the sapphire is going to be our biggest problem. What we want to do is we want to, um, of course, create it so that this place gets corrupted. Now, that's going to happen automatically as the temple itself, of course. Here, let me get the false colors off. The temple, it, who the hell are you? Crystal Smith Xanthus Vibus? Dude, get off my property. Get off my lawn. Now, uh, yeah, we'll start corrupting over here. And hopefully we'll do some good. We'll get this kingdom eventually under. But it's got too many cities right now for me to tackle. Let's just let them soak soak up the uh, the goodness. At the same time, we'll move them over here. And like I said, begin corrupting this. Yeah, this one's good. It's got one city here, one city here, the coven there. Or we could just corrupt. Send them over to corrupt the coven. And then they've got dark worship. Hmm. Yeah, we might tackle the Covens first, corrupt them, because every turn that we heap them corrupted as only one community, they will supercharge into getting into getting us to alter their um, tenants. So once we get them to, to negative three tenants, uh, we can just have them start spreading like wildfire. And once the uh, d once we have our dude over here, we got to name him, by the way. All right, do the Joker last, but this time, this time we will do Mark Hamill another joker we will not be doing the um suicide squad joker as i don't accept that as an actual valid interpretation of the character okay ah stand by okay back to it then any case let's keep going over our beginning strategy here now normally like i said before I could summon up one of my Hierophants, for example, because they have a decent starting intrigue and have them corrupt the coven here that we've, that we've been targeting for the useful idiots. But remember, this is the Aster, and like she who will consume, or feast, sorry, yeah, yeah, same word, basically, we can use their ability to automatically infiltrate a position. Since this is only one position, that means that we inevitably we'll begin corrupting it. Because you see, now we have eight influence per turn, and humans have zero influence per turn. And so long as they do not continue spreading through their preacher subtype here, they will slowly but surely corrupt. Every 20 turns, 
will continue to drop their alignments. After 60 turns, they'll be at negative three, will begin the spreading process at that point. Now, in addition, because we're starting at the beginning and only cost one point, because remember, that ability goes up one point every time the seal breaks, we'll also target the other coven, though it's not as useful since it's gonna be a quick thing. And it's around here somewhere. Don't worry, I'll find it once we get that. And yeah, it's actually pretty easy if we go under holy orders and find the only one spot out of order. And it's around here somewhere. Anyways, yeah, we'll take the other coven, corrupt it by remote like that, which means that we can have our minions free to do what we want them to do. Now, speaking of which, what we're going to do with Mark Hamill here is that we're going to take him to find the probable headquarters of the future alliance. Now, oh, there's Brothers of Sleep, if you remember what that is. Um, now, what we can do is the easiest way to do that is to locate the chosen one, Mediator Hent Tayon, right there. First of all, we watch them. We mark that because they are the most dangerous alien in the field. In fact, we got with it sidelined by a random mage act there in um, the last episode. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. But right now, they are the biggest issue is they can create the alliance and warn people of the world, uh, warn the world of our existence. So they are of... Let's see, hometown, city of Siunt. Now, city of Siunt is not the capital, but if you test this, it gives you the capital of the kingdom of Cecilia. So what we're going to do with the kingdom here, which I regret we can't rename, by the way, is we are going to target that with the Tome of Madness. Basically, remember, the Tome of Madness will bring up any... Um, position where you drop it 3% per turn. Now, if we get this done quickly, we can get it done in 33 turns. I'll probably, the Chosen will interrupt it at some point, but then we'll come back when we get the book back again, we'll drop it again, or if we have the Madness Bomb, as I like to have it active by that point, ability, uh, ability for Yaster open by that point, we'll just immediately do so. Then we will corrupt King Chiat over there, you know, as you do, and this. Now, simultaneously, what we want to do here is, this is the Order of Fries, if you recall, we want to corrupt them slowly because it's going to be take a long time to do so. But what we can do is we can go in, check the holy orders, and everything that's green is a target for infiltration. Because if you remember, if you go over to moral tenants, every when, the higher percentages of faithful settlements that are infiltrated will bring it up. Now, in shadow, it would be great, but we've got to first in shadow a city. You know we can't do a city right away, even if we have the uh, court courtier, it's because their securities are so high. Six, for example. It's plus two per city. Plus, of course, rulers that may know what the hell's going on. Six, you see where this is all going. Yeah, we have to corrupt the zones around it, the ones that are connected to it, then corrupt the city, then begin the uh, process. So what we're going to do is eventually target the city of Mill. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to place our faithful Mark Hamill. Yep, we're not doing magic, but yeah. We're, have, we're going to send him to the city of Cecilia. Now, what we also want to do is we want to get a second minion, which we can do right away. Now, which minion are we going to be doing? Probably going to be a disposable one. Now, if you remember last time, the we acquired some really high minimum profile menace in some of our peeps. Then normally, the way to get rid of that is to stop every couple of times and then lay low, which is going to slow us down. Another probability is to have a sacrificial lamb, a hierophant, which is, of course, a non-unique minion, which we can have supercharge their profile of menace, make them infamous, and then, of course, he, when he's kill, inevitably killed, takes the heat off everybody else. So what we should probably do is figure out our Hierophant's location, because, yeah, you've got the Dissident, and while we'll probably make them pretty... their Intriguing Command are pretty good, and we'll get to them in a bit, I'm thinking, yeah, we'll start with the Hierophant, because if we give him plus one Intrigue to start with, that's Intrigue of four, which makes it pretty damn high for a beginning character, and we will bring them forth. Now, the question is, where? Now, what the question... that's going to tell us whether or not... I mean, what, what the strategy we're going with. If we are going to try to use the um, corrupting this zone here, we should set him up to get every single one of these communities as we can corrupted. Now, of course, if remember, if take a look at the holy orders. This is a lot of space here. And some of these may be taken over by these people if they are, for example, calling a sapphire. Yeah, they are pretty big on spreading. So we're not probably going to be able to corrupt the red zone. We're going to have to basically figure out a way to go work around them. But the green zone here and the covens, we get those working for us. Maybe get the order of try. Yeah. Hmm. Big on temple building, unfortunately, which means they're probably also going to be hard to corrupt. So we're going to target those three using that. Now, we are not going to be using the orcs 
or the deep ones because as you can see there's one horde here in the desert there's one where the hell yeah yeah these guys are starting off weak and they're not going to get any stronger i've found spotted i believe where's the deep ones can we do deep ones here no i believe you have to do a uh, point of interest finder Nope, okay, so we go with Modifier Finder, Deep One Cult. There's one here, it's pretty weak, are starting off with a 68 minus 29 profile, so odds are you're not going to see them get anywhere. And if you check around the water, you also spot this one at 33%, which again is a that. Now, one of the things we can do is we ever drive these guys crazy is we can get them to love Deep Ones and cause them to accelerate higher, but it's not going to be a high priority. As you remember, we only got 1% really total last time. So it's more of a side game that if it falls into your lap, that's awesome. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, work towards the standard darking. Now, remember, we need to get this spot infiltrated first because when if we can get... We have one... Two, three. Starts off with a security three, six. It'll drop to three once we get these three zones infiltrated right here. Then at that point, it will be once we get the courtier as our third, he'll drop it again to a two. Plus we can bribe them, and that makes our first well, well of darkness right here as it'll spread across the zone and begin corrupting the both the both this kingdom, which is the probable beginning of the next alliance, which makes it less likely to be allied. And we created the alliance by everybody shadowed. We also will be infiltrating. I mean, well, corrupting the order of fries. All right. So what we should do then? Pick the capital, and then from here, we will create the Hierophant. Why? Because the Hierophant's going to be related to the king. That's going to give them more options. Remember those little those little um things about, well, you know, uh, my relative, it really must not, uh, it really not, isn't that bad. It can't, it can't be your reports, can't be this. So we're going to subtract um, 20 off their minutes. You can sometimes get that, and sometimes you can make them actually hate you, but more than times, usually have being part of the 1% will uh, help you in this world, and of course, others. Now, what we should do is just boom. Okay, once you've infiltrated a city, you can use higher fence to inflate the rulers' opinions. Now, yes, we can do that normally, but we can do it a lot faster. Intrigue, of course. We can do it a lot faster with the um, with our, our god of madness. So, first things first, let's head over to the bastion since that will both that's going to decrease three cities' uh, uh, security levels. See, slowly but surely, and work to that. Now, we're never going to have hierophant. Zai Huan, which we're going to rename to Red Shirt Number One. Hang on, Red Shirt, because his only purpose is to do as much work and then die for us. All right, Red Shirt Number One is going to immediately start infiltrating the fortress. Now it's going to take 19 turns, of course, and then once we get our once we get our Mark Hamill over here, we'll have them start taking down these as well. All right, by that point, I'm hoping we're going to have the the courtier, which we will also pull off the kingdom and have them uh, start tackling this. And then eventually, this dude, if we might mm, take forever, we'll probably risk having an enshadowment from the others. Okay, so let's end the turn. Yeah, mediator is beginning quest, reduce unrest. Where is the unrest? Ah, right here, 10%. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm the prince, I think. Wait, what is my family? family? Yeah, no, apparently, despite being built in the capital, he's apparently no one. Oh, it might be have to be a named character, and the random ones just don't do it. All right, so, okay, mediate politics, the city of Sicilia, dismiss, right, they're going to start trying to create the alliance here. Let's see if we can drive them crazy first. And there we go. You can see us coming to the top, reduce unrest, the bastion, the red shirt number one stuck into the manor, to eavesdrop on the secrets of the bastion's rich, have about to leave the doors, jam shut. Uninvited, the guest thinking. So, three profile does not matter. We are trying to gain profile for them. Okay, go to Mark Hamill and place the tome. All right, sister has spread the, yep, we're gonna, this is, this is gonna be the biggest issue. Place tome. Dismiss. All right, yeah, they're going to start spreading like wildfire here. Um, as you notice, the Holy Order is already moved up to this. Yeah. Oh, no, the Tri... Oh, you two, you two duke it out. I honestly want to see you two duke it out and for uh, for dominance over here while we're doing our own thing over there. All right, so the first thing we want to do with him is that we might want to stick on Lore. Lore is going to give him three 
by the time we're ready for enshadowment, that will be useful. But remember, he doesn't have really have much for that. Um, so I see the intrigue is what keys off of the uh, stealthy, so we'll deal with that later. But first, lore. Okay, so that's, of course, the first and easiest thing to do. We now have five profile in ten minutes. One of the things we can do at this point is basically cool down. Because remember that we have, let's see, we don't want to generate too much too quickly. Now, one of the other ways to look at is see how much it would cost us in menace and profile to do a infiltration, for example. If we wanted to infiltrate the citadel here, we would have to we'd gain two profile in seven minutes, but it also brings up our minimum. So do we want to try to see whether oh okay. We don't want to see about how that would work. So yeah, let's um Ooh, ooh, dangerous knowledge. Ten sanity to any hero mage who studies it. I mean, that's good with what we do, because once they go crazy, they do things that are two and eight. I don't know. Let's rest and resupply, lay low. We only have, of course, four that one unit per turn, which means it would take us six turns. Let's uh, let's play a little dangerously for us. We are, of course, trying to use the redshirt strategy, so we can get a little more dangerous with our... Uh, Okay, we reach. You're now aware. Great God has told you that we that uh, who we are, and let's scale, what, see what we can do about getting you corrupting your hometowns. All right, warn the world. So right, she's going to there, and we've broken that open. Now we still have a power of one, which means that we can move closer to corrupting the other. Where is it? Let's see. Holy orders, and boom. Where is that other? Ah, there it is, that coven. We will use power to corrupt that coven. And again, we'll double check over here at the other circle how we're doing with our corruption. It appears the useful idiots are, in fact, halfway they've been corrupted for their first level. So we'll drop them down to negative one, and like I said, we'll get their alignment to negative three. Then we'll start, their, they'll start them gaining acolytes and spreading out into the world. And then, of course, we're gonna biggest problem we're gonna have is once they start spreading, the humans are gonna have influence over the religion if we have and already corrupted those zones. Okay. So, meanwhile, okay. Sorry, I must retire. Gain twenty profile. Yeah. Okay, that's working, but we have no menace worth a damn. Um, okay, agent recruitment. Dismiss. We're still not ready for the court year. All right. Who will be named Jesse, of course. I'm oh, sorry, James. Okay, the king is now aware. Traveling to quest, reduce city of Sant. The city right there, their hometown. All right. Now, let's see. Religious tension. Yeah, it's going back and forth, I believe. Yeah, they're going back and forth over the same citadel, so we want them to keep doing that. Now, we also, since we've got at one point of power quickly, because they're reading a thing, we can take this one. So you sell us some time and corrupt it. Now, as you'll notice immediately, their security has dropped to five. We'll drop two more, like we said before. Anyways, and we keep an eye on that power, because we just want to dump as much as we can into corrupting the zone that is this religion. For example, once we get the Order of Fries, if you have the Moral Tenants, you notice we immediately have plus two a turn now, because we have both shadowed and infiltrated. How have we been shadowed? Because we, have some of the, we must have some of the zones up here. Let's see. Holy Order. Yeah. We're... That must be interesting. How did they get in shadowed? I'm not sure that could be a glitch or not, but what we should do is awareness. Okay, it's under, I think what we do is seven and, nope, six and shadow. Hmm. Can secret deep one cult, madness, not quite in there yet. Divine entity present, unrest. Ooh, that's a lot of unrest across the board. We gotta keep that in mind. We may want to break out the. Uh, oh, we got an ogre over here. We may want to break out the. Um, how do I put this? We may want to break out the um, dissident sooner, but we'll see about that. Anyways, infiltrate fortress. Okay, so that immediately turns this place into security four. Why that's going on? You'll notice that um, we should start also pulling away at all the other vulnerable situations. 25 minutes, seven profile. Let's start infiltrating that fortress. And it's only gonna be 13 because we lowered the security. Nope, by having the infiltration on the co on the uh, Covenant and the Bastion. So yeah, this place obviously went from nine, to, went, went down. Minus one infiltration, ruler intrigue stat. Yep, slowly but surely. We need to get this one in shadowed as quickly as possible. Speaking of shadow. We check over by the tomb. 
we really should think about infiltrating this zone so the enshadowment can get there and start spreading out faster because you notice it's kind of slowly moving through here even without assistance all right so anyways continue reduce unrest the citadel yeah okay thunderstorms either we can't protect them we don't need power continue lose hit points we're gonna lose hit points simply because we're not in combat and i don't see this being an issue and he'll heal up as soon as he levels up to level two all right useful idiots good all right use uh four hit points got hit by lightning oh well all right so the first thing we do with the useful idiots is we drop their alignment to elder powers this shall be to slowly corrupt and then much qu quickly corrupt. And if you check the moral tenets, yeah, we also have to think about the prophecy. Now the prophecy is, do we have to be, if prophet gives you a couple more points. Now, again, we're from the West, 13 candidates. If we if we had decided to take them from a holy site, for example, that would have been so. We funded an outpost and dueled a foe in combat. None of those are gonna happen. On the other hand, we should check other ones. 19 candidates, I'm not from the south, from a holy site, dual to foe, strong and powerful, might greater than four. Now, we might want to consider that one, but again, with the circle, we're not really that worried. The Order of Fries, there we go. We have to choose from a holy site, command an army, and explore ancient ruins. Now, we can possibly do this for the trickster. If we, she can command an army and explore, we can do all of this. Now, the commanded an army is the hard part. This one, Order of Try. We can get one from the south, from a holy site, from a funded and outpost, and strong and powerful. And this one, the calling of sapphire, holy site, ancient ruins, and funded and outpost. Wow, the funded and outpost thing is an issue here. We're not going to see us doing a lot of this. When I come up and do the fourth campaign, because we already decided the third uh, agent we're going to have is the courier, per usual. What we're going to do with this is we are going to um, figure out how we can. Um, figure out if, how we can get a profit going. You might not be able to this turn, but it's a thing to think about is it gives you a couple of points every turn if you are the profit of one of these holy orders. All right, so where are we? All right, you are almost done with that fortress. Yeah, this is, we're gonna speed up a bit here. All right, uh, yeah, back and forth. This is gonna be interesting. Then I go back and forth on this and I'm kind of okay with that. It's gonna keep them busy. Okay, the devil finds work to dislike something. Okay, so we now have the ability to make the courtier. Now again, we're going to try to do this from the kingdom. So use power. This should make them part of the royal family, which is always good. Um, no, back. Oh, wait, we also have the power point. So yeah, like I said before, this is kind of a linchpin in corrupting other places. As you can see, it's directly up to the elder tomb, and it's got three other four other communities connected to it. So we'll use power, and let's infiltrate that one will it's also of course calling sapphire which means that we are slowly appointing that next we go back here we create create agent the courier and we use the noble connections now technically this is the person who's already existed whose minds we take over all right now that is let's check the family right you will notice that they are Let's see, parent, they are a prince. Spouse, the baroness, the baroness, yep, okay. And you've got siblings, so they are in line of order. Where are we? Yeah, essentially, your wife's gonna wonder why the hell you changed on you. Um, okay, so first things to do is that this place has sufficient funds. We go here, we buy, sorry, steal. Here we go, subtle thievery. We're gonna steal some of their money, come over here and bribe the city, which is gonna, by that point, probably be closer to two, for the, um, that and we begin infiltrating this city with an eye towards making it our first shadow well as it were as i like to call it notice however this place is still still you know going a little nuts it should start to destabilize quickly and a destabilized alliance is a good thing all right so yeah the nobody's nobody's done anything with that yet we're at 39 percent we get about 51 percent at a certain point we get an ability that we can just make these guys crazy we might get lucky enough to bring it all the way up to this point depending on how aware they are Complete training. Excellent. You do that. Aware. Okay. Yeah, these two are going back and forth. Take all. I didn't realize you started with cash. I should have gone right over and done so. I'll have to, you have to check these things. we got to get more attentive to the details. I've been kind of winging it for a bit, but what we want to do is we want to bribe the guards first. Okay. While that's going on, you'll notice that, again, we have a point of power, so we can, again... We don't want to hit the places we're infiltrating already because that would just kind of, you know. But we want to do is we want to corrupt the seat of order completely. Now, if we do this, use power, corrupt, 
boom, we've infiltrated the seat of holy order, which, as you know from the previous one, means that her moral tenets, yep, we just shifted to plus three a turn. We are now in a position where we will be able to corrupt the order of fries much quicker than we had before. Especially if we can get through it. Yeah, this is going to be good. In transit faith, dark worship. Xenophon of Accommodation, Yanding Insight. Yeah, these these guys will work with us, as we pointed out before. And now we managed to luck out and get the Seat of Holy Order corrupted beforehand. But we also are going to need to eventually get the farming community part done as well. But we've got what we need right there. And we're going to slowly but surely turn this place into ours. What should have been the Alliance. Okay, now this is the problem right here, that. Avoid them, corrupt guards, valid gold and justice. Okay, so we can avoid them, lose eight practice. We had ten gold, we corrupt them. We can abandon challenge, but we just avoid them. It's gonna cost us time. We've gone to, we have however bribed the guards, which means that immediately we can infiltrate the vast sewers. Now this also gives us the option if we have to abandon our current strategy to immediately begin the plague on this side, which will again cripple the alliance. Okay, infiltrate the vast sewers. There we go. Dude, to pick up. Okay. Okay, aid them, lose 10, challenge, and lose... No, we don't want to do that. Leave. We want, to, we want to gain NS in profile. Okay. Again, we're getting up there, but we need to get infamous long before that. Okay, so yeah, we're not dealing with the orcs. The orcs are on their own this time around. Okay, you bound the tome, which means eventually we're going to have to go back and get it. The Mayan Circle. Good, good, good. We go here, and we begin their corruption. Yeah, if you want to double-check that one. Yeah, we're getting closer for that one. Yeah, both covens are going to be ours pretty shortly then we'll begin having them do evil things um let's see we want to use preachers before temple builders because that and why we will spread out and we'll have to be careful about the human influence still should be all right in the beginning okay you are over here this place is now a security of zero so what you want to immediately do is come here and we'll since there's two places to corrupt we can double up right here and get the third one down before you know it, and then, boom, we've got our darkness well. And we have already have three corridors that are open. Once this is placed, that will also be a corridor here. Now, this city, again, it's been corrupted in the Citadel. This will bring it down to four. And again, we can probably get it pretty easily done and get that as a darkness well, too, which the whole place will begin to swiftly sweep uh, sweep up when it comes to that. Five, five, yeah, we're, we're going to be going through here pretty quick. Okay, boom, infiltrate fortress. Okay, you... Yeah, you you exist to be intrigue. That's it, you are disposable. And we need to find another infiltration point that's important. Okay, so the best bet is actually the village over here to work towards getting that city undone. Okay, so you head out in this direction. Okay. Okay, you've arrived. Go to and begin immediately infiltrating that one. Okay, you two are going back and forth. Okay, court your spot the two soldiers. They didn't have a shred of shrewdness. Make an explanation, or yeah, nothing happens. Your commander is looking for you. Go. Remember, we're a prince. We're a crown prince. That's probably why it worked. All right. Okay, reduce unrest. Cool. You keep doing that. Tome used. All right. Go to. Uh, yeah, but it also means that it's asleep, which basically means as soon as someone's free, which will be the courtier first, can't move him, unfortunately. So we are going to have to wait until we're done with him. Okay. Actually, no, we should be able to do that because we can't. Okay, hide outdoors, rattles. Okay, found here, escape, lose 10 challenge, lose 2 hit points. Uh, we'll go with challenge. Okay, escape, and again, we have the infiltration point. Now, we can... Work towards corrupting one of these. Now, the more important one here would probably be the kingdom, because that's going to move into the holy site. So, what we can do is use power and 33%. There we go. Now, we only have to infiltrate the docks and the city palace. And then this place, again, becomes a darkness well. This entire area begins to surge. Then we move on to another continent, because we're going to have both the religion and the church. That's the theory, anyways. Again, we're kind of seeing how this all works. Go to... Okay, useful idiots. There you go. Let me call the other ones. Yes, useful idiots and Elder Powers too. Again, we'll get this to three points before we start actually doing anything with this. And we start... Well, the thing is, we may want to corrupt the moral tenants first, get all of these into the place where we want to, and then we start spreading the word. We should check the budget, too. I mean, it's gonna... We've almost got another Acolyte, so... Yeah. Should be able to work. Abyssal Faith, Candle Circles, Prophets of Doom. The Candle Circles would be good. What if you had Dark but Prophets of Doom would be good. Human Sacrifice, always good. We're not going to be doing deep ones, so I 
Too bad you don't have awareness here. He can... Yeah, we will... We will probably work with this soon. Anyways, back to you, Bob. Now, we can't infiltrate this palace yet, so... Taking over here and grabbing the book should be our best bet. Okay, steel gold. 15 gold, we can use that. Five gallons, or browser rabble. Steel gold. All right, you've gone to here. We always use more cash. We want you here instead to collect the tome. Boom. Okay. Take all. Done. All right. Dismiss. And no remorse. Oh, it looks like our family connections aren't coming useful here. But anyways, this is now a five because we were lowering it. You can see. Minus one, minus one. Hmm, noble connections, minus one. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. But in any case, this one, we will be done in eight turns. Meanwhile, why don't we just drop the tome again? Boom. And that way, we just keep going with the crazy. As you notice, they're at 66%. We got most of the way already. We'll be eventually be having a crazy and shadowed place, which is always cool. Continue. All right, we place the tome, dismiss. Uh, for idle hands, it's all just a game. A target attacking unit by 14. Okay, effect is subtle. Okay, we'll get eventually to the preferences in a bit. But, Ken, for example, you have been problematic. I'm thinking, this has been a bit of infiltration. Let's make you love madness. There you go. Therefore, you're now less likely to do anything against the book. Mm -hmm. Likes madness and coal. All right, there we go. Now, again, you've got a little bit. Of, what we could do is wait for him. We could just lay low, burn off some of your profile menace, which is actually pretty high right now, while he's over there. Then we'll go over there and wait and uh, take care of the city palace and have him lay low to bleed off while we have, you know, you trying to make, trying to jump up and down and saying, I'm evil. All right, so. Again, back and forth with those two religions. There's no forgiveness. The mediator. Okay. Great. So the chosen one now hates the court ER, which could be a problem. All right. Okay. Steal item. Tied phalanx or set traps. Ooh, where are we? No, I don't think there's anything useful here. So steal item or assist me in the task. Let's speed things up a bit. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want our potential issue in the future. So why don't we have you love madness in case you try to do something about it. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep preventing this sort of thing like we did with the deep ones, preventing people from thinking uh from thinking about, you know, preventing us from driving them mad, which is always good. Okay, world panic is rising. It's at 10%. We have zero unfortunately because we haven't really gotten much done just prepping for it. Okay. Again, Sir, okay, you've infiltrated the market, infiltrating the community. You, my friend, are going to get stealthy now. You, my friend, need to get less stealthy. Now, okay, we've got that going at four. Now, there's actually no reason we can't throw you over here so you can get the palace done. It's at one point higher, mind you, but it's going to be a little extra time. You, on the other hand, need to do some serious... Um, Hmm. The thing about that is the challenges lay low. Here's the end of the infiltration over these fifty percent. Alright, so yeah, why don't you lay low into this point? Because we're trying to keep you guys alive. And we'll do it. Let's do it up here. Driven back to shadow, city of Sient, go to, and oh, okay, call her to serve. She's over here. Got it. There she is when we need to do some serious damage here. Turn the call, turn the religious warfare into, you know, God really is trying to kill you all. All right, so, yeah, infiltration again. Can we use... Nope, it's at two points of power right now, which means that we have to start concentrating on other tactics to do this. So, again, who's binding the damn thing again? Okay, you are not doing that. You bind tome. Okay, do you... You do not love madness yet. You will now do so. So we prevent this from coming an issue in the future. Again, we'll eventually get down, and this is now 87%. We are going to complete it in two turns, so we'll get it up even higher. We'll eventually get it. All right, so yeah, you lay low. All right. Okay, go to the city, Remorse. All right, you are going to take some time and infiltrate the palace. 15 turns is not that bad. 
that will allow us to have this and then when he's burned down a little bit of his prof about his profile and menace he will come down and do drop the darkness now you on the other hand yeah you should just stay there for a little bit your menace is way too high actually it would make a lot more sense to just run over here now and use that to lay low so he can give it the benefit to to the hierophant infiltration attempts which of course i should have thought of but again the games are always learning curves if you're not learning you're not paying attention all right dismiss Again, though, shall we just grab the tome again? Hmm, where is the damn tome? It should be here. Did you move it? Okay, where... Okay, so check the message. Not the religious tension, but this one. The bounding tome. Go to. Yeah, you... Yeah, you've got it. Oh, okay. We may have to run over to this to the uh, tomb again, but we'll see. In any case, you lay low here for the moment. Just in case that's the place where we can grab the tome again. Okay, the witch, good. That witch is belonging to this coven, which means that eventually when we corrupt her, she'll be working for us, essentially. Okay, again, back and forth. Ooh, the ooh, 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 ooh. No remorse. Yeah, family just hates us, apparently. Okay, so... You. Okay. No, no. I need to know where you are. Okay, so this one is the calling the Sapphire. Is attempting to go into the... Yeah, they're attempting to move into the territory that we're attempting to corrupt. This is ironically going to help us corrupt it faster, as this means the percentages of communities that are corrupted increases slightly. Let's see where the moral tenants is. Yeah, we're four points a turn. Passively do, um, uh, willing it up. And we get the seed infiltrated by... Now, the divine entity is pleased. Pleased by our actions, if you recall, because the divinity likes what we're doing, Deep One's orcs, or likes what's going on, not exactly what we were doing. Okay, but yeah, this will move you a little faster, hopefully. Void lice. Stretched and of vile tube creatures on any of this world, the awakening of such would cause the barriers linking the realities ring with the veils remains thin, perverse creatures exist in the void. Fight or devoid? Abandon, avoid, lose 10 challenge, lose 2 health. Well, you are to be sacrificed. I guess you're suffering from less. This is five points of sanity. Okay. Yeah, your your family hates you. And here I was hoping they'd be useful to us, like these guys. All right, so, quick thing. Useful idiots go to Elder Powers plus three, which basically means they ain't coming from corruption. Curious where the immoral tenants, yeah. People and shadowed, yeah. There's only one other person, see structural tenants, one other acolyte, they'll become corrupted, and that's going to speed it up to 10 per turn. Yeah, 60 every 16 turns, we'll be, we'll be making these people more and more evil. Then we'll be spreading them out. All right, so. Boom, boom, boom. All right, back over here. Do we have a location? Do you still have it? Yeah, you still have it. You are level... What level are you? Level two, and I am level two. I don't think I can steal at this point. Yeah, I gotta be. I gotta be um, level three. I'm not gonna increase experience by laying low, unfortunately. All right. Meanwhile, okay. There we go. That will help, but will allow us to pick up the tome, collect tome, and drop it off again. Dig all done. Dismiss, and then it again that's going to of course increase our profile menace but then we're immediately going to turn around and start uh laying low okay you are 7 and 21 you are 46 and 32 got to get that infamous on you fast though okay menace 47 we definitely need to lay low and we have the one point here so what else can we do with you do you love madness Yes, you love madness. You love madness now, I believe. Who else is here? Do you love madness? That's us. Yes, you must love madness. You will love us. All right, so yeah. Now, these guys aren't going to be as much of an issue as they're related to the temple. Um, I'm not sure we're going to deal with them. Uh, yeah. Warn the world, guard, disrupt, attack. There's a lot of things they could do, but basic worship, resupply, bind tome. Okay, so we're not really that concerned about them. We may save up the points to two and then be used to then swiftly corrupt another place to do. Okay, where are we here? Yeah, infiltrate palace. Ten more turns. Here we go. All right, Lalo. 
Now he's the lowest he's going to get at 714. All right, so what we want to do now is decide where we're going to place him. I mean, he can, let's see, we can steal a ruler's item. Start plague, recruit cell sword. That's a thing we might want to consider. Yeah, let's, um, a little self-protection wouldn't hurt. And we got the two points for the corruption. So what are you at? Four. Yum. Yeah, yeah, let's get you partially corrupted. Use power. See what the game brings. All right, so that's now 30% corrupted. It makes it a little easier when we start moving in to do you. All right. Meanwhile, that's great. All right, dismiss. We can actually repeat that, but we have just enough for a bribery, which we ought to consider for that. Meanwhile, can't leave low any further. This will give us minus five profile, which could be useful, but I'm not sure if it actually will be all or a minimum. Let's buy it. Okay, take all, go. All right, you buy the item for that, we have that, and we will have to get some more cash. So, who's got more money? You do. Let's go take a quick loan, shall we? All right. Steal Arcana, gain one power. That would be useful. Assist me, gain five. Yeah, we want to have him to move faster. All right, so, order try. You guys, story told in madness. All right. Fascinate. Okay, recruitment points too, which means we now currently are working towards our fourth agent. Now, one of the things we want to consider is that, of course, we need... Let's see, when this one pops, we're going to be able to drop darkness here. We want to eventually get here as well. But this place, is it crazy yet? Yeah, the Madison is now 123%. So, this is going to become interesting. We're going to use him as soon as this place is done. To drop the 100 to in shadow and drops us to 100 shadow and move it everywhere else around us we've got all of these places currently infiltrated the order of fries is corrupting nicely nicely keep that alignment status going down and we are going to have an extremely interesting scenario now create agent we have like i said the dissident is our most likely one or the trickster and by the way i'm totally sorry i forgot to do this earlier rename the courier into james now one of the things we're going to think about is go into modifiers, unrest. Yeah, unrest, if it's over 50, is a good place to start him. Where are we going to go here? Or we can use his elven ability to just keep the elves from doing anything interesting. But since he, yeah, we'd have to work at this, I think, to make him useful. Another possibility is another hierophant. That's actually an interesting possibility. If you notice, we've got recruitment points of two. So we've got, yeah, you know, we only have one disposable, and, and, and he, already, he already is doing work. So we probably want to create somebody useful. And it's the other going to be the trickster, who has a four intrigue, two, one, three, might, or this one, 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 four, three. But I'm thinking the dissident works. All right. Enthralling. Okay. So we can do the dissident, but what I want to do, if we're going to do that, Let's locate the biggest elven kingdom. The Reese here is only one square. Order try. Uh, kingdom. Where are the elves? Elves of Karim. And uh, that's a thing. Yeah, we should consider 31 enshadowment. Yeah, this is slowly building up enshadowment wise. And yeah, calling a sapphire. Yeah, we don't have enough. Yeah, in 1% infiltrated. The infiltrated divine entity is displeased. Oh well. Yeah, okay, so should we move the Dissident into here and start working them, trying to get all of this done so the darkness moves faster in this direction? Hmm, or do we drop another one of the Hierophants and have a two-pronged disposable? Red shirt number two with a two-pronged disposable, and then once we're done, get the Dissident at that point. I'm thinking what we should do is probably go with the Dissident, because he may become useful later. Anyways... Great agent, dissident, and for the funsies, let's make him here. Revolutionary is political instability or agitation increase 1% per 75% of either. Unrest, lingering resentment, and political agitation decrease security. Mm. Let's go with the rabble, rather. It's pretty basic. Then, what we want to immediately do is, since this one's at 0%, we move them here so they can begin infiltrating there. Now that's got a power of two, which means we can assist him by speeding it up a bit. 
There we go. We begin infiltrating and darkening this place. What's going to happen is pretty quickly we're going to get points towards the corruption on the calling of Sapphire. Don't think it's going to go anywhere. You're this about size of Sapphire, but you never know. Okay. Take all cash. Excellent. Excellent. James has that. That. Okay. So in this case, we would definitely want to stealthy him. He's got his profile to absolutely nothing. Now here, the city is at four. That will bring it down to three, then two down for that would be one. So what we want to do is we want, yeah, once he gets it, let's get him over here, have him bribe the guards, and have him start there, and then we'll bring over our um, Hierophant to assist him in that fact. And then, of course, the you will swiftly be in shadowing. Again? Well, that's not really as important to go to. Dismiss the go to. Okay, you need to infiltrate. Whoops, forgot you starting to infiltrate. Thank you for reminding me on that one. We've got to be careful, as we proved last time. Let us infiltrate the docks. Because this apparently is only a two stutter Yep, order fry. No, no, the docks already had that part. So yeah, then also all these areas become a lot easier to do our... Yep, if we go over here, for example, given the level of infiltration, we'll probably get faster laying low. We'll lay low here. Excuse me. Boom, and boom. Power's back up to one. And boom. Okay, gold from rulers. Okay, sabotage James. Oh, God, it's gained ten menace. Drive back to Shadow. Yeah, you are way over there. Dismiss. Okay, so... Chain 15 gold. This being the task or unrest modifier. Steel gold. Always useful. All right, getting some of our gold back, actually. All right, you, infamous. Boom, we've now set it up so you are the sacrificial lamb, and you are immediately going to be doing the absolute worst possible things. Meanwhile, yeah, how much is in Shadow? Five and five? Boom, do it. You're going to start the enshadowment here. You are going you can't assist him right now so instead what you're going to do that's a security four security four five hmm. why don't you go over there and hmm, it's a bit much though that's probably not as useful as somewhere up here go ahead and start tackling up there let's get these places since i believe they are in fact yep order fries we corrupt more communities we corrupt the uh religion faster okay Boom. All right, so we're okay. Actually, dismiss. You can instead go to you guys. Ooh, 10% darkness already. Okay, the useful idiots are now going to start changing their moral tenets. So, the, one of the things we want to do is decide how we're going to go with this. We could have them do Prophets of Doom, which will increase madness in zones, and that's going to be useful for us because we will get access to people's heads. And I'm thinking that is exactly what we'll do because we do not need temples for that, we only need acolytes. So, the Dark Worship isn't going to be useful until we have temples, but yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, Divide MT is pleased. Yeah, they're pleased by us. Great. So yeah, we're going to, this is going to snowball quickly into being uh, that. Okay, you're traveling to the castle, so you'll grab the book for us. Oh, favorable winds. Great. Uh, the truth is unbearable. The useful idiots have looked and seen the doom that waits them, and yeah, the truth is unbearable. Share it. Yep, and we have reached drove in this one mad, which means immediately what we do with that one point of power is we make them hate. Uh, let's see, cooperation, which means alliances are much less likely to happen. We're going to keep zapping him with like liking darkness and that sort of thing to decrease the prob and like and disliking combat to decrease the probability of the alliance forming here. It may get up that they choose a better target later, but for right now we need to slow them down. Recruit cell sword. Okay, you reach the castle. You. Oops, I told you to go... Ah, forget it. I'll have somebody else pick it up when we're done. Talks, yeah. Because the book isn't really that big of a deal right now. I mean, I think they still have it, actually. Let's wait until they zap us with it. All right. Oh, good. You're going to the shadow. Enter the shadow. Be with us. Be with us, sister. The darkness calls. Anyways, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. But as you can see, well, the gun is half done. We are moving much quickly to getting the Order of the Fries. Notice that yelled... Oh, oh didn't even notice that part. Okay, Order of the Fries under our control, and then when that happens, we'll start moving them to corrupt across the entire world. And the covens are already at our disposal, and they're beginning to immediately produce results. Yeah, need to pay more attention there. But yeah, need to check every now and then. But yeah, we'll start building it up, and these will swiftly become... Um, to hopefully become our minions as well. And then with three, one major religion and two covens under our control, we will begin to swiftly create the worship of darkness. Uh, hang on one second. I want you to... Let's see. 
use power I want you to like select uh, darkness no oh, shadow sorry yep we're just gonna mess this guy's head the mad king make sure that they don't make sure they don't they aren't gonna be useful to the chosen one because that's the first one they're gonna go to but anyways yeah so again well the gun is half done we have learned failure as Yoda said failure is a teacher we have learned from our failure and we are going to begin our corruption of this world essentially the second time around because we got sealed away and now we're open again so I think it was a thousand years later with the continent drift. We're going to actually end up corrupting this town. This town needs an anima, as the Joker once said, or one of the Jokers. And as you can see, we actually started peeking towards victory as we have insane rulers and heroes, and they're starting in Shadow Mint over there. So let's see if this strategy works, and I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters, whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the Dark Lords of content and data.